What is up my gaming nation? It's your boy Six Claws Gaming back again with another video. Today we've got a bit of a different video. Most of my videos are about gaming. This one's more movie related. As you can see, we got this long box from Imperial Workshop, as you can see. Uh I think from the length and the company, I think you know what it is. Uh it's a lightsaber. It's an it's a very high quality Neo Pixel lightsaber, and I thought I'd make a review on it. So, without further ado, let us open the box. Without further ado, let us open the box and see what is inside. Why is it so long? There we go. Clearly didn't get all the tape off. Okay. Okay, so. Let's get that out of the way. So, right off the bat we've got a... Uh, an Allen wrench and a few retaining screws. Those will hold our blade into the hilt. Got a charging cord to charge the saber, of course. Here's the Imperial Workshop manual for uh, controlling, you know, uh, for how to operate the saber. Foam, very important. This is a USB stick. So you can make, well not make, but you can download your own custom sound fonts into the Saber. Here is the NeoPixel blade. As you can see, it's got NeoPixel and stuff. And oh boy, I, I, can't, I just can't wait to activate this thing. This is going to be sick. But alright, I'm going to put that on bed. Okay, put that there. And the, the probably the best part, yeah, the Saber. Oh, it's so cool. All right. Oh my god, it's so cool. This is the Nova Hilt Saber, as you can see. Alright then, my house is haunted. My house is totally haunted. I don't know if... Okay, ghost, we get it! There's a ghost opening my brother's door. Stop! This is the Nova Hilt Saber. It's messing with me. It's messing with me. But anyway, this is the Nova Hilt Saber. Let's see if it's charged. Powering on. What? Oh, that's cool. All right. All right, guys, let's take a closer look at this hilt. So, here is the Nova hilt in all of its glory. As you can see, it's mainly black. The hilt is metal. Uh, metal hilt. It's pretty heavy, to be honest. But, I mean, it is a metal hilt. The Here's the emitter. There's a, There are all the lights and stuff. The, well, anyway, the lights that emit from the bottom of the saber, anyway. Because the lights, there are lights all in that blade right there, as well. That's why it does the cool uh, emitting stuff, but yeah. Here's your power button. As you can see, it is, focus. As you can see, it's simply just a metal circle. This little ring right here, it'll light up red. Your charging port. Here's the Imperial Workshop logo. This is where the sound comes out. If you can actually unscrew 
the bottom. Let's unscrew the bottom here. Here's our speaker. And I have, I'm, and uh, from what I've seen from Imperial Workshop, come on, you see, there's the speaker. From what I've seen of Imperial Workshop, they have really good speakers and really good sounds. You got this little thing here. But yeah, pretty much it's um it's just a pretty simplistic looking hilt. Uh I know Imperial Workshop has some more um Imperial Workshop has more uh intricate and cool looking hilts like the Vega hilt or like the Revenant hilt, but I mean I like I like the simplistic hilt. I think the simplistic hilt looks really good. So uh yeah, let's get that blade in and look at some fonts. All right, you guys. So let's put the blade on the saber. So to get the blade on the saber, all you need is this little Allen wrench provided by um, the, the, the place that gives you the sabers and these retaining screws. You want the two longer ones. You can see they're right um, over here. And all you want to do is take them out like so, maybe put them, pull them out there, or something, maybe just coax them out a little bit, there you go, that's three, where's the fourth one, where did the fourth one go, oh, it's still in there, okay, you want to find the two longer ones, so in my case, that would be these two, these shorter ones can go away in the bag where they came from I'm not quite sure why they gave us two shorter ones but you know they did so it's whatever I guess this bag is really hard to keep uh, open so anyway once you do that you take your hilt you take your blade now I like to take there are these uh there are these two little holes right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there are two little holes. And what I like to do is I like to line them up with these little retaining holes right here. So I'll take it and I'll line it up. I'll line it up and I will slide down into the saber. Then I'll double check. Then once I'm sure it's in place, Put it down and you screw in the bolts into the retaining screw holes uh, like so Not like, but like yeah like so just take it and just screw it in like that so I'm gonna screw these in off camera and then we get to play with the blade all right, you guys, so I just got the saber uh, blade inside the hilt. Now, I'll admit before I say this, I have been playing with this a little bit. So, I am on my favorite sound font. Why don't I show you guys right now? Powering on. As you can see, it's very nice. It's got a very nice crisp uh, voice. And hang on, let me turn off the lights so that we can show you. Okay, lights are off. Look at that. That is, that is so cool. It's got smooth swing as one of its features, so you go. It's got, it's clashes. Uh, it's got tip drag. What you do is you hold the button down while you're striking downward. And, uh, well, you can kind of just... I'm not even holding the button anymore. It just kind of stays there. You hit the button again to get rid of it. It's got motion control, so I just... Flick my wrist. And it turns off. Well, I'll turn it on again. It's also got the, uh... Hang on.
There we go. It's got the uh, clash effects. And it's it's pretty cool. Let's look at some sound fonts. So what you do for sound fonts is you hold it while it's off. The champion. And it'll change. Holy sh the game blade! There's another reason I picked Bureau Workshops because some of them are gay option and I find that funny. Alright, let's test out some more sound fonts. The Dark Lord revisited. I think this one's Vader. Oh, it's so red. You guys can't really see it because the camera makes it a bit more orange. But Vader, this, this is so red. The Learner. The Learner. That is so cool. It's like a, it's like a... Oh, that is the coolest. The second. That is... That is not... That's not the second. Oh, that's so cool. Alright. The teacher. Oh, this is Luke. Whispers of power. Oh, this one's really cool. Oh, look at that. Can you see, like, the... You can kind of see them. You can kind of see the, uh... Like, the flickers of light of white in the blade. Imperial Workshops. This must be Imperial Workshops font. Oh. I'll show you the dark side. Kylo Ren. There we go. You can really hear the smooth swing in this. Another feature I forgot, if you just hit the button, it's like blaster deflex. Nothing's impossible. Oh boy. The dark sword. Oh boy, here we go. This is clearly the dark saber. Another instance of the smooth swing. Something I want to point out, the blaster deflex, those are normal blasters. I believe, it's been a while, but I believe they're from like, the Clone Wars. <gasps> Obi-Wan! Obi-Chad Kenobi. It's either Obi-Wan or Anakin, but I think it's Anakin, because Obi-Wan's is like, hello there. Oh, this one's really cool. This one is not red, just so you guys know. Uh. Oh, it's so cool. I gotta show you guys this from, like, a different angle. Hang on. Okay, so I've moved it over a little bit. I think this will actually be better. But check this out. Look how slow it... Look how slow it, um... It ignites and unignites. That's so cool. I made it yellow because, uh... Dooku's got a font, looks like the same thing. So, you know, it didn't make sense to have two. How about it, Gosh? Uh, from Fallen Order. That's so cool. It's time to let old tricks die. Ben Solo. Playing ping pong with it. Alright, here's Dooku. I haven't heard that one before.
Skywalker. All right, Vader. I'm Cal Kestis. Cal Kestis! I love Fallen Order. Oh, this is clearly Leia's lightsaber. I'm having way too much fun with this saber, bruh. Who else could do what I've done? Who else would have the strength to come this far? I am Revan, and I will complete the work I started so long ago. Oh, this is Darth Revan, but purple. I think this was when Revan was a Jedi. I don't know, I've never really seen Legends. The dark side. This is dust. I think this is Darth Revan. Ascension. Hello? That is unbelievably cool. <laughs> Yoda, I am! Okay, so this blade... It really only act, like turns on when you move it. Otherwise, it just like, kind of flickers. Oh, this is like that... This is like that, like, invisible crystal. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is this is my this is one of my favorites. You guys ready? The actual gay blade. I don't think my screws are tight. We'll see that ignition again though. Come on. We got Luke. Classic, always great. Codex of Light. This one's so cool. You guys ready? Can you guys hear that hum? Cyber Terror. This one's also really cool. A cool thing about this one is you see the blade, right? See how like, when it's like completely up, it'll like, it's full. When you tip it downward, the light starts to like retract into the blade. I think that's really cool. Dark Ages. Dark Ages is interesting. It's like medieval stuff. It's blaster deflect or arrow sounds. This tip drag is like that. And so is it, uh, Clash. Hatred. Hatred's cool. Idol. Idol is interesting. It does the same one as, uh, Oh, listen to that. It's like there's nothing left. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like you are alone, and it is hungry. That's... I'm not sure why it has sound effects from Dark Ages, but whatever. Serenity. Alright, and we've come full circle. This is my favorite one, uh, surprisingly. The original font was red for this one, but I changed it to yellow because yellow is actually my favorite color. All right. All right. Uh, so anyway, last feature of this blade is the ability to change colors. What you do is not that. Okay. Hang on. Let me reactivate. This is kind of a hard thing to do, but you got to hold the button and twist. Let me let me see how long it takes for me to get it.
There we go. You gotta hold it until it starts um, changing colors, and then you can pick whatever color you want by twisting the hill. So let's say I want it to be white, or like red. So all I would now let, let's make it white. So all I have to do is hold the button color selected. until it says color selected. And now the blade's white. I think white's actually more fitting for it'll. Alright, but anyway guys, that's gonna be in the video on the Imperial Workshop Nova Hill 2.0 lightsaber. If you guys didn't know the video, please do slash them like button with the talents, and if you should be subscribed to the Gaming Nation. If you want a low budget saber, go to Imperial Workshops. I paid about $185 for this plus shipping. Uh, the retail price is, before shipping and all that is $170, so this is really affordable for a Neopixel. Anyway guys, uh, that's me in the video. Be sure to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, 6 Gaming. Anyway guys, that's me in the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye